Well, I think it, it all depends, number one, on what material you're talking about, and number two, on whether you're talking about recycling in, in the store or if you're talking about goods that are coming out of a store and going into someone's home. So, I mean, it, it would be kind of hard to answer that question without getting into those specifics. Um, something like pizza boxes, which are corrugated cardboard, actually can be recycled if they're not heavily soiled. If you're getting into questions of um, different types of plastic takeout containers, that's a very different and, and much more complicated subject. Um, certainly the provision of the consistent provision of recycling containers within stores, within takeout um, um, operations and, and, and shops can, can go a long way and, and I haven't seen as much of that as, as you would expect given the maturity of recycling in this country. I was just going to say I agree with Samantha. You know, I think there's a couple of stores that have shown a true commitment to um, you know the recycling composting ethos and you see it in um, well uh, marked and labeled um, areas and you can also tell it um, in the way the products that they buy that are environmentally friendly or you know reduced packaging um, but you know other retailers you know I think there has been somewhat of a Walmart effect on some um, where uh, through their purchasing power, they've had a huge impact on some of the um, way the upstream from them, the manufacturers are developing some of the products. And um, I think merchants do have a lot of power, um, maybe not the pull that Walmart has, but um, through the products that they put on their shelves, they um, can exercise some uh, ability and influence over the um, producers. This is, this is a tough issue, I think, and I agree with the speakers. When you take, for instance, a gas station that has containers out for the public to use, and the public is, if it's along an interstate, from, or from all different areas and have different ideas of what they're going to uh, put in those containers, uh, and even what they bring. It can be fast food, it can be oil containers, it can be all sorts of things. In the area of like pizza boxes, or fast food wrappers or whatever they may be, you need a certain volume to really have the economy of scale to make something work. Um, I'm not saying we shouldn't pursue and look at these things and there may very well may be answers, uh, but they have to, it takes extra work. It's, it's, it's more difficult than the other things we've tackled so far. I, um, I really like the idea that, that I heard at a meeting a few years ago, which was um, when people know uh, on the what, at the very beginning when they consume an item, what they should do with it at the end, um, that they'll be better prepared to deal with it. And I think it would be really great that if when you purchase something at a store, when you chose it off the shelf, uh, there was information, not detailed information, but even just a reminder that, you know, as you take the yogurt off the shelf, this yogurt cup might be recyclable at your house when you're done enjoying it. Or, um, And you sometimes see that at a store when they switch from a styrofoam container to something else, they'll say, we're not using styrofoam anymore and this plastic might be recyclable at your house. Uh, but I think maybe more information points about that, especially for things that people might not be thinking about. Things that are in bottles, they're pro they may be more likely are thinking about that, but when there's buying products that come in boxes to remember that those can be put in their mixed paper recycling. Um, just at the point of consumption to remind people about it that what they're buying is going to be a waste product eventually. 